Heath Kit IM4180 FM deviation meter. All the equipment snobs out there are now turning their nose up and going to a different YouTube channel. Does this thing work? Is it accurate? Well, let's find out. Okay, while my venerable old Hewlett Packard 8924C here warms up, that's another one the equipment snobs will turn their nose up at. We'll cover this in another video. This is really an extremely pe useful piece of equipment. We'll talk briefly about this while that's warming up. The uh, deviation meter comes with this external antenna. And that's okay if you're working in the basement lab or someplace in a very quiet RF environment. But if you're working in a repeater shack somewhere where there's two or three other repeaters, you're going to want to set that aside and feed this thing directly with the coax uh, using a T-splitter of some sort with an attenuator to, uh, ver to pick off the signal from your repeater transmitter. These are great for the home experimenter. These are great for a small repeater club that doesn't have a great big uh, cash fund if you want to keep track of your repeaters. Yes, they are accurate. Yes, they do work. Oh, the old Hewlett Packard's up and ready to rock and roll here. And we're going to demonstrate that in just a minute. I'm going to grab a cable. All right, we have a cable. We're hooked up. The downside to these is it's a direct conversion receiver. It has a wide open front end. So if you're up on a repeater site and you're trying to use this antenna, every other repeater up there is going to be driving this thing crazy. That's why you need a shielded cable. Like I said, it'll be fine in the home lab environment. You'll be fine. It's very touchy. Um, the tuning is very tricky. This is all there is. There is no band spread. There is a fine tuning here. But tuning this can be a little fidgety. You'd never want to even imagine trying to use this in a professional environment where you're using it day in, day out. But for casual use, it's accurate. It does work. Now let's get this thing set up for receiver test. Put this on RX. On receiver test, it's going to put RF out. Uh, amplitude minus 80 dBm. Let's get a frequency here of around 150 megahertz. So 150 megahertz. Let's change the output to the duplex output. Uh, let's make the audio frequency um, 5 kilohertz. Let's go with 5,000 hertz, 5 kilohertz. And we'll go with a common, for the start here, we'll start with a common frequency, or excuse me, a common deviation of 3 kilohertz, narrow band FM. Now the first thing we have to do is turn it on. The battery check is good. So we'll go to the tune function and see if minus 80 dBm. Minus 80 dBm is a pretty low level. I'm probably going to have to bring that up to minus 40 or so. So let's go back over here. Whoops. <laughs> I just hit the wrong button. Okay, we're back on track. I hit the wrong button and changed it from frequency input to channel input. This was also a CDMA mobile uh, phone test set, so it works for both uh, radio and mobile phone. So frequency. So we want a frequency of 150 megahertz, 150 megahertz. Uh, we have the duplex output turned on. We have an audio tone of 5 kilohertz. The RF out or deviation out, we are going to want to set to, uh, let's start with 3 kilohertz. 3 kilohertz. And with our deviation set to 3 kilohertz, 150 megahertz, we should bring the level up. I'm going to bring the level up to about, uh, oh, Let's go minus 40 dBm for now. That should be enough signal to find something. And there it is. 
you can see the needle swinging up and you can see the tuning is extremely sharp and what we want is enough RF to put us within this tuning range that's all it really needs now we're set for 3 kilohertz deviation we'll go on the 7.5 and it falls dead on 3 kilohertz perfect absolutely accurate now there's going to be a little wiggling we have a, just a free running oscillator in the front end of this it's not perfect but 3 kilohertz for 3 kilohertz let's go back up here and dial in another common deviation of 5 kilohertz so we'll go 5 kilohertz jumped right up to 5 kilohertz the next common one is going to be 15 kilohertz so we'll go to 20 on the range and change this to 15 kilohertz of deviation and that's reading 14 and a half close enough for the girls I go out with so if your repeater club needs a deviation meter and you come across one of these for a hundred bucks instead of one of these for a thousand grab it it's useful it does work the equipment snobs can go stuff their head in the sand. I don't care. See ya.